To another commentary done by Diggity in the upper right hand corner, we have Slimy Zerg, aka Flying, who's a new player to me. Starting as the Gray Zerg, bottom left hand corner, we have Art of Turtle as the Purple Zerg. This is going to be on Eclipse. Art of Turtle has had pretty strong ZVZ, and I don't know anything about Flying at all. So, kind of a big question mark for me. This is a two player map, which usually favors more. Honestly, I feel like it favors 12 pool. Because I feel like 9 pool is the thing you do, and then you can adjust off of to get aggressive. Usually 9 pools and 12 pools on this map. A bit risky to try to go for that 12th hatchery. Getting a fac call language flyer. Not sure why that was the case. Um, maybe missed a drone. Something along those lines. But anyway, Overlord is making its way across. So it'll be interesting to see... I feel like on Eclipse, it really is more of a test of Zergling Micro. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe there's a lot of lag between these two players. Yeah, my guess is, is that there's a lot of lag. And that's what they're discussing in the background. Or maybe, yeah. So they're like, let's go ahead and play despite all of the problems. That is going to make Zergling Micro more of a challenge. Overpool... For Art or Turtle. Interestingly, dropping Spawning Pool on 9 and 7, which is a build order I don't think I've, I'm unfamiliar with. That is going to allow Zerglings to get out a little bit faster and Zergling Speed to come out online a little bit faster. I think there was an Overpool, which is technically a build order advantage for flying. But again, it's going to come down to Zergling Micro, and it's going to come down to Zergling Micro in a lot of lag, potentially, which is, I think, what all that discussion is going on in the background. At least, presumably, that's what's going on. So, like, let's just play it out. Flying going to go ahead and grab his natural expansion behind this. So he's going to need to defend territory and have sufficient Zerglings to do so. so initial six Zerglings being produced. Still no scout. Spine Pool is going to finish. So basically, there's going to be... As far as build order advantage, there's going to be six Zerglings, potentially. So there's the initial four. I'm waiting for that additional larva that usually pops out to be six. They'll be down here and in time to engage, but there's got to be basically got to defend territory. Art of Turtle walking forward, teching up to Lair, still pouring out the Zerglings. And what Flying is going to need to do to counter this is produce a lot of Zerglings of his own, end up with an overwhelming amount of Zerglings to kind of counter, and break into Art Turtle's base before he can hit that Mutalist timing. Hatchery being built, the Zerglings sweeping to the lower corner. They see Zerglings here, which all of this gives an indicator of the build order. So now it's going to come down to micro, Zergling versus Zergling micro and lag. Keep in mind, closer reinforcement point for flying. Layer is upgrading. Layer is now finished for Arter Turtle. He's going to go ahead and grab his Spire as well. So let's see if he, yeah, dance it. So, yeah. At this stage, flying, still producing the Zerglings. He might want to make a run and a shot, transferring drones to the natural expansion. That drone, wow, brave drone. Very nearly getting picked off and instead kind of poking. But Art of Turtle buying the time he, he needs. Zergling speed online. Now looking to engage because it's better micro, but losing a handful of Zerglings. But as long as he sits here and buys himself time, yeah, one drone lead here, but... Flying needs to come at Art of Turtle. Because here the Spire just about finished. Art of Turtle can just save resources, sit back, defend in his base, and he will have Mutalisks in the air much, much more rapidly. Engaging on the high ground. That was kind of a nice little turnaround attack to, as those Zerglings were getting spread out for Art of Turtle to kind of thin the herd. So now he needs to hold this ramp, wait for Mutalisks. He's producing additional Zerglings, flooding all the way back into his base. Flying looking to engage. Holding on the south of the ramp, but these Zerglings need to be careful because even one Mutalisk in the air now. Let's see how many larvae they're going to be. Looks like there's only going to be one larva, unfortunately, for Art of Turtle. Some Zerglings getting pinned out. Still trying to thin the herd on the low ground. Flying looks like he just has more raw Zerglings, though, so might be able to punch through. And Art of Turtle forcing that engagement might end up costing him because now Flying in his main with more Zerglings and the Mutalisks are still 
not launched. So going to lose gas, going to lose drones, and I think that's going to be GG. So flying, doing what he needed to do to turn around and win this. Now focus firing that lair. Mutalisks are here, but honestly, this lair might get taken out regardless. And even if it doesn't, flying with an economic lead, he should be able to get that spire up behind this. The Zerglin's pressing away at this. Two Mutalisks, but yeah, hard hard flying GG, realizing he wasn't going to be able to save that hatchery in time. So, Arda Turtle drops to the loser's bracket. Flying advances to the winner's bracket. And uh, yeah, quick one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, thanks for listening.